Would you pray with me? Almighty God, hear our prayers as the country lies divided before you. And yet there is not one person in this room who doesn't want to relieve our children of fear or ensure the safety of the day-to-day -day lives of American citizens. How then do we address faithfully the rash of tragedies that have plagued our communities and gripped the nation with turmoil and terror, frustration and fear? Holy God, how do we respond appropriately to the devastation that has infiltrated our schools and our playgrounds, haunted nightclubs and grocery stores, and taken over city streets and neighborhood graduation parties? Lord, how do we discern the way to peaceful dialogue without our personal prejudices getting in the way? And how do we avoid our inclination to be right, but seek instead the wisdom of your righteousness? As we approach you, whether from the depths of our sadness or the heat of our anger, remind us that these days and every day belong to you. Though the discussions in which we engage ourselves seem fraught with discord, you alone have the power to bring order to our chaos. Call us then to set our minds not on our own self-interests, but to adopt a more faithful attitude that leads to life and peace, an attitude that comes only from your Holy Spirit, that inspire us to yield ourselves, our deliberations, and our lives to your guidance, that our nation would be restored. We pray in the power of your name to serve you faithfully in all that we face this day. Amen. Pursuant to section 11.